Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a subscriber or viewer sent me this file, but it was connected to something else really big and detailed, and he asked me if I would not show it because he's still working on it. Uh, I hope he shares it with me when he gets through because it's a pretty cool drawing. But he wanted to know how to equally put this square at that angle, and we don't know that angle. I actually do because it's 22 and a half because I, I traced it after I before I deleted all this stuff. So, But we don't know that angle, so we're going to rotate it to make that angle first. So if you go here and you have snap to, it'll snap to that corner. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Now let's double click on that. And I've already wrote, made the rotation to that corner. But if you grab this node right here, it'll snap to it. And there's our 22 and a half degrees. So then you can take this thing away. So we've got our angle now. That's all we really need. Now we just need to know the midpoint of this line. I drew a indexing line just so I could kind of know, but I want to take it away. But when you grab your pick tool and you click on something, you're going to have node, edge, and midpoint. You need to grab that midpoint and go to the midpoint of that one. It's going to say center now. That is equal. So that square is on the same distance between those two lines. Let's take the virtual segment delete key and delete this because I think that's what his plans are. Now you can always test this to just to double check yourself. Take your parallel dimension tool, get on that node to that node, and we got 7.2. Go from that node to that node, we got 7.2. I'll zoom in here just so you can see it. Both of them are the same. So we're we are midpoint of that shape. So when you're using the pick tool, you can grab and, and pick. Let's just do another one real quick. Let's just draw a square. Grab your pick tool, and right there you have the midpoint. So if you were going to join two squares, let's say we want that square joined to that one. This is easy because it's the same angle. We got the midpoint to the midpoint. Those two are locked together. Now you could do a number of things. You could weld that, virtual segment, delete key it, whatever you want to do. But now you know you're equal. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.